Hi there, Scorpio, Scorpio Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your May 2020 Love Monthly Forecast Reading with me, Chrissy, from In The Stars by Chrissy.com. Now, um, May is really a very wonderful month, especially for you guys. And maybe some of you are not feeling it, and some of you are actually feeling it and are aware that even though... Um, with all of the things that are happening in the world right now, you might be feeling that you're not really as very unlucky as other people are. You're at the point of, you know, um, I would say, um, there is an emotional satisfaction that could be vibrating in your own energy. You know, you're not entirely very happy, you're not entirely really sad, but it gives a feeling that you are at a place that is alright, that kind of, kind of energy. We do have the Queen of Cups um, being represented by you, so being in tune with the world and with your um, highly perceptive psyche is coming in very strongly here. And we also have the lover's card crossing over things and the eight of swords at the bottom of the reading, which is being shown over here. So this is telling us that, you know, um, it's like that feeling and energy we're in. You are thinking about love. But at the same time, maybe you are not acting as if you need love. You get what I mean? It's like something is being triggered in your heart at this time. And maybe it has something to do with a decision, with a choice. Because the lover's card is not necessarily about a relationship. But sometimes it's a, a choice within a certain relationship that maybe you have to make that you need to think about those kinds of things so with the eight of swords over here it's like telling us that you know there could be something that you really really need to pay attention with something that you are refusing to maybe let go you are refusing to change you are refusing to take action with but I kind of feel that, you know, uh, some f something is going to happen within the month of May that um, somehow gives you puzzles, pieces of puzzles that can come all together, giving you some form of answers. I kind of feel that for many of you guys, you know, it's like you are going to find out something. Maybe someone is going to show up within the month of May that, you know, fills in the void that is in your heart. Because what is being shown over here is that you are in the past. Um, something may have happened in the past that has made your heart very cold, very isolated very icy you know it's like you can date anyone you can be with anyone but it's not going to be the same type of love anymore that you once um, have given to someone else but um, I kind of feel that you know all of the past energies that may be you have experienced before um, I kind of feel that there is going to be a coming back into that it doesn't mean that someone in the past will come around I mean that is just a possibility but the the what I'm really getting here is that maybe you are going to be thinking about something in the past or maybe it has a lot to do with your own regrets so it really depends now based upon uh, what each and every one of you guys are experiencing it's going to differ because there's a lot of scorpio all around the world so it's going to be uh, a different case so it's either that you are at the point where in you're very emotional very sensitive because of 
um, someone in the past that you truly care about, that you truly love, and it feels as if memories of them are overwhelming you. Basically, is what being shown here. Also, this could be a situation wherein, if your true feelings, your hopes and dreams, um, is not being fulfilled at this time, it could make you feel that this whole month of May may give you a sense of longing to fulfill that, to make it happen, that kind of thing. And at the same time, this is also telling us that there could be an opportunity right now to, you know, to gain answers from the past, you know, something about the past that was unresolved that, you know, maybe ended up a very abruptly some form of unfinished business right there um there could be something right there that gives you some form of answers and resolutions to your present life to your present moment that allows you to have a more progressive and advanced um advancement of the situation in the future especially since we have the page of wands at the future position along with the start card so you know from from the queen of swords it's becoming into the page of wands so if this is the area of being silence being um being alone being uh you know um maybe left out or something like that because even though that the queen of swords is a very demanding card you know someone who has authority over things it gets also a feeling wherein yes i demand things i know what i want i know what i i know that i'm worth it and all of that you know there's a lot of pride into this but at the same time there is also a sense of loneliness you know so maybe you have made a harsh decision in the past for you that is the right choice to make but it does not mean that it made you happy you get what I mean so there are a lot of regrets all around here and maybe it's something that you have chosen yourself and maybe it's something that you are forced to, to choose regardless though with this page of wands here it gives us a sense of energy wherein maybe there's going to be some form of progress in terms of someone coming to the surface someone reaching out to you maybe someone is going to fill in the void that you are feeling someone changes things for you the page of wands is also a messenger card so you know um there could be news that can you know make you feel really really good and this card actually pop up in the reading earlier you know it just randomly jump in and it is the jack of hearts so it gives me a feeling wherein maybe someone is going to come knocking their way towards you especially it has the book so discovery you are going to find out something or you are going to find out this man who is who is this man is it someone that you know someone you don't know i mean right now i don't know but um regardless who this person is they are going to change everything that has happened in your present and in your past and it will definitely make you give a sense of fulfillment and happiness for you one way or another so we do see that there's definitely going to be some form of messages over here and maybe it is a message that you have been waiting on for quite a while now so there is like you know a huge burst of energy here that's telling us that you might just meet someone right now you might meet someone you might um and uh, have that as a social event with someone now i do know that we do have this uh social distancing so it may not exactly be you know something at the party or anything like that it could just be in on the internet you know maybe you are going to be talking to someone in the internet communication through social media through email or you know other messengers and all of that so it could be an awaited message that you are going to be receiving 
so and this message is definitely going to be making you happy and it will feel as if life finally allows you to move forward again especially in the matters of the heart all i uh, i can say at this point is that you know if ever something is going to hold you back it is because of your past experiences and so you might be a little bit negative when it comes to you know uh you you might be very skeptical in being open to love once again because of your past experiences but um what is being shown us being showing us here is that there is going to be improvement in the air especially in terms of communication um, having fun meeting with people and socializing communication and messages is a big part of this reading all at the same time and some form of renewal for the better is also in the picture here we do have the snake and the stork all together so i kind of feel that you know this is a sense of um shedding of skin and you know it's like you know an ugly duckling becoming a beautiful swan that kind of thing a messy situation turning into something really really wonderful and really really beautiful all at the same time so there is definitely going to be some form of emotional connection with someone and a form of you know it's not one-sided that i'm getting here this is something that is quite mutual a communication that comes in on a positive note little by little so it's not as if that the, the whole month of may is going to be all about communication but what we are being shown here is that something is changing inside of you it could be your own um attitude in terms of love or in terms of relationship or it could be that little by little someone is about to enter your life someone is coming to find you coming um their way towards you is basically the key so it might be that they are already in your life on their way to, towards you maybe um during the new moon in gemini could be the trigger point or could be by the end of the month who knows it's just that what we are we are seeing here is that something is opening some form of portal is being shown to us here towards some form of fulfillment and happiness in life something is really changing for you and it's happening in a very positive note now i noticed that we do have an, a lot of nine of clubs over here so the nine of clubs is also talking about foreign lands uh, our deepest wishes and desires it is also talking about um it could be friends that we know before um, opportunities that gives us a helping hand those kinds of energies so um i am assuming at this point that you might be hearing from someone maybe you haven't heard before or you haven't heard in such a long time it could also be someone from overseas or someone from distant land so that is just a, a quick addition into this reading but um yeah um second chances opportunities plays a big role here so this could also be like you know a message of giving someone a chance to resolve something to improve something or a chance to make you happy all at the same time so um yeah uh it is a very positive reading right now um there could be a lot of fears inside of you which maybe you're showing to other people or maybe you're not showing to them because scorpio people tend to be very secretive all at the same time however um, the only thing I can really guarantee here is that you are opening yourself into love again. And even though you wanted to be alone, you, you don't want to be in a relationship with anyone. That is what you always tell yourself. It will feel as if life is forcing you to 
be connected with someone to to be drawn to someone for someone to really be there for you for someone to to boo you for someone to love you it's like you know even if you don't want anything uh you don't want any social you don't want any connection you don't want any closeness with anyone because of your past experiences it will feel as if life is forcing you to be with someone and it could be a faded um occurrence all at the same time which is going to be very powerful and unforgettable for you guys so um yeah thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me i do hope that you know this really happens for you guys in a very wonderful note it is filled with you know attraction and you know being drawn to someone as if you have knew, known them for such a long time like a soulmate that kind of thing it is a very positive reading so i do hope that this gives you some form of energy lifting <laughs> one way or another especially during this you know difficult times that we live in so um yeah thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me if you want a more personal reading just like this one or something similar you can do so by booking a session with me on my website in the stars by and i shall see you guys again next month